What's happening everyone? Welcome back to the shop. Now, the weather is absolutely beautiful lately and it's been baking all day inside in this shop. But I've built a picnic table, so that's what this video is going to be about. Barbecue this weekend, so some beer and burgers. So uh, I have a nice, simple um, picnic table build. It's an eight foot table, but you can build it six foot. I'll take you through it. You don't need too many tools. Um, a miter saw would be very handy but it can all be built with hand tools. I used mostly hand tools to build this and to throw it together really quick. So it's a cost, it's a quick, cheap, cost-effective picnic table for this weekend's barbecue. Let's check it out before I faint. Right guys, let's get this project started. I'm down on the floor again. Um, I really need to build myself a couple of saw horses, but if you have some saw horses or a bench that you can build this on, do that. The, so the floor is nice and flat, so that's why I'm down here. Um, we're going to be building this table upside down, so it's handy just to have a flat surface just to throw it down on top of. Now, what have I got here? I've got six, I bought 16 foot lengths of 6 by 2s and 4 by 2s. I cut them in half just to throw them in the van. So essentially, my table is going to be 8 foot long now. So I've lined up 6 6 by 2s. That's going to be my table top. Pick out your best boards. Pick out the best face and face that down onto the ground. So this table is going to be built upside down. So your your top of your table is, is facing the floor. So I've just squared all these boards up now. So they're nice and square both ends. I've lined them up and I've just spaced them with some nails. Uh, that's just to give a little gap to allow for expansion and contraction between the boards. So yeah, it's going to be very quick, very easy, nice and simple. These are pressure treated. This is pressure treated timber. I'll leave a cut on this below in the description. So you can see all this stuff. Um, I'll try and keep this video as quick and as short as possible. We'll build a table. I won't build the benches um, just because it's the same process and uh, we'll try and keep this as short as possible. So next thing we need to do now is cut the cleats. So what we're gonna do is our cleats are just gonna be our cross braces for our board or for our tabletop. There's gonna be three of those. So measure the width of your board or your table and just subtract five inches. So your cleats will be two and a half inches in from either side. And then we're gonna put a 45 degree chamfer on them just so nobody bangs their knee off a, off a rough corner. Very simple, let's crack on and do it. Just measure our cleats. My tabletop is almost exactly 35 inches. So I will cut my three cleats 30 inches. Let's do that. Right guys, there is our three cleats cut out. We just cut them with a 45 degree bevel on the end of them. It's just to stop people banging their knees off a rough corner, that's all. Nice and simple. Again, measure the width of your table, subtract five inches. So you're coming in two and a half inches either side. So we're gonna measure 12 inches in from this edge, 12 inches from this edge in, and then we'll set our cleat up exactly center of our board. We'll mark it, glue it, and then we'll screw it. So we want exactly one foot in. So I'm just going to mark one foot in there, 12 inches, and we go, just line him up, touch over, that should be good, just going to mark the cleat then just so I can see where to put some of the glue. Right, and just glue it, screw it down then in a zigzag pattern so we don't split our board. One more there for a look. Right, that's our first cleat done. Do the end cleat now. We won't screw our cleat, our middle cleat in for a minute because we're going to make a jig out of that now for making our legs. So I'm just going to repeat this process down here. 
And my God, it is unbelievably hot in here today. So uh, if I collapse, one of you call an ambulance, please. Oy. Let's do it. Right guys, we have our two end cleats in now. We haven't fixed our middle cleat yet because we're going to use this to make a jig now so we can mark out our legs. So we don't have to do any calculations or measurements. Um, we can just make a simple jig. It's very, very easy. So what we're going to do is we're going to screw this next cleat down 30 inches up on both sides here, minus the width of our top. So our top is just over two inches. So we'll call it two inches. So we're going to measure up 28 inches from this guy here. Hopefully you can see where I'm at here. So measure, mark that 28 inches. I want to mark this guy 28 inches here. So whatever the width of your top is, I'm sure you'll be using similar boards. So it'll be uh, again, two inch boards. So I'm up 30 back to we want to line this guy up again, dead center. Right, that's centered and it's exactly 28 inches up on both sides. So we're just going to stick two screws in this. It's only temporary. We won't be leaving it here. So we just want to fix it down. Should be good. Now we're going to make essentially what we're making here is um, an X frame with our legs with a half lap joint. So this is how we find the length of our legs and the angle of our legs to cut. So again, very simple. We're going to take one piece, put throw it across this jig now, mark it, and that will be our template for the rest of our legs. Well, let's do that. So pick out a nice straight bore. You should do. Essentially, what I'm doing now is I'm, I'm putting the board across the jig. I'm aligning this edge up with the corner of this chamfer, so just right where my 45 starts, and this far edge up with the top of my chamfer on this side. Then I'm going to take my pencil, I'm going to mark it right here, mark where it touches the board on this side. And then do the same down here. That side and that side. There we go. Here are my marks here and here. Now we'll just get our square. And connect our lines. go right guys so you can see these marks then that's the angle of our cuts top and bottom and that's also the length of our legs so that's just a nice simple way of doing this jig again there was no calculations or angles involved or degrees measurements whatever you want to call it it's just a case of take your timber line it up with the edge of this guy line this edge up with the edge of this Mark it, mark it, mark it here, mark it here. Flip it over, connect your lines. Now, we'll cut this out. Obviously, if you have a miter saw, you can set that exact angle on your miter saw and cut all the rest of your boards the same. I don't have a miter saw handy, so um, I'm just gonna cut this by hand and I'm gonna use this then as my template for my other three legs. So let's do that.
Right, that's not too bad. Okay, that's what we're after, guys. So from this corner to this corner, that's our template, or our jig, and now, so that's fitting in there nicely from corner to corner. So there you go, we have our correct length and our correct angles. Now we just make, use this to make three more pieces. So copy this exactly three more times, and we should be good. My God, it's hot. Whew. Okay guys, we have all our cross pieces for our legs cut now, or our X pieces. And what I've done now is just marked our X here. So using our original piece that we used to mark all our other ones off, we just put him in, again, corner to corner, scribe a line, do the same on the other side then. Just get it inside in the jig. It doesn't matter if it doesn't go corner to corner on this side. Maybe these might be slightly off. As long as our center points intersect the middle of our table, we're, we're good. So um, yeah. So again, it's just scribe a line down here. You end up with this X then, and this is how we're gonna mark our half lap joints. So we can just put in our board. Line everything up to our lines, and then we can just mark it where those lines intersect. There we go, there, 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 and there. Hundred percent with these ones. Let's go them across. And that's our half lap marked out there now. So we're gonna cut this half the depth of our board on both sides. So we we'll mark our other board the exact same way. We just turn that this way and mark it on this side and uh, yeah. It's just a standard half lap. I'm gonna use the circular saw then just to run a load of cuts in this half the depth of the board just to make it easy to chisel this out. And uh, yeah, we'll join them together. Let's do that. Oi. So there's the depth of half our board. I'm just gonna use that now just to set my circular saw. So just drop it down, bring them out until my blade is exactly that depth. There we go. We should go 100% with that now. Right guys, there we go, that's our first half lap joint cleaned out. So you can see just run multiple cuts through it. Ideally, if you have a miter saw, this project would be 10 times easier. I must get myself one. But uh, yeah, so it's just multiple cuts. Slap it with the hammer, knock it all out, and just finish it off with the chisel. Again, it doesn't have to be 100% perfect. A little bit rough, it'll be fine, it's gonna be glued anyway. This is not fine woodworking or making a picnic table at the end of the day from rough or construction lumber just treated stuff, so uh, we're not making expensive cabinets or anything like that, so that's good enough. So we need to do that to all our other three pieces then, and we can start putting the legs together. Right guys, one slight mistake, but we can recover from it. 
When I was marking this guy, I marked the bottoms correctly. So we've taken our half lap out of that side. But when I marked this guy over here, I also marked the bottom. So as you can see, this was meant to be taken out of the top. But not to worry, we can still use that guy for this side and I can make another one going this way with the half lap out of the top. And then I can just take another leg and take the half lap out of the top of this one. So, slight mistake, just watch out for that. Make sure you mark the bottom of one and the top of other, the other one. So uh, yeah, my God, it is so hot in here. Let's hope I don't do that again because uh, there may be no picnic this weekend. Much better. Right, one set of legs ready to go. Let's just do the other one now. Whoa. Happy days! Right then, guys, we're ready to put our legs together. We can pull our jig apart now so we can take our centerpiece out for now. Let's pull them two screws and we can center him up in a second. But let's put our legs together so this is just going to be a case of glue and a glue and screw i should say and uh, i might get stick some bolts through them later on we'll see a good solid feel. A couple of short screws. Don't put any in the center because we're going to brace these now off the center. So um, yeah, no screws in the center of this. Right, time to fix on our legs. So um, I've just centered it up. I'm just using um, the Freeman square just to give me a rough idea center. I can just see centers right there, just to line it all up. I'm just gonna mark it here now. Just, just to get some glue in there. have to glue this if you don't want you can use um any kind of adhesive like a grip fill or something like that if you so wish now i'm going to be using some big four inch screws 100 mils to drive into this uh, can you guys see that from there maybe you can't i'll try to do it left-handed Right, now the same on the other side and then we'll brace it from here to here because that's not sturdy enough to hold the whole table. Right guys, we're going to cut our brace now for our legs to brace it to the centre of our table just to give it some extra support and to straighten it up because uh, if the table gets pushed left or right obviously it will collapse. So we just ensure that we're square with our legs. And then just to get our angles, it's nice and simple again, just get any kind of square, like your, use your speed square, they're quite handy. Just mark him up there like that. That's our angle. Take this out of the way. And then it's the same thing here. So we're just going to mark that there. So we just need to cut that there and there now and stick it in.
Right, now that we have our cross pieces in, everything's braced up, good and solid, I'm just gonna put some 10 mil coach bolts through the legs, just to give them a little bit more uh, strength. There's only two wood screws in them, holding them at the minute, and the glue. So we're just gonna put two of these in, some nuts and some washers, very simple. Let's do that. Okay, we're almost ready to flip this thing over now. One last thing I want to do is drill a hole straight through the center. So I want to use this with a parasol. So um, I don't want to drill it from this side because I have a line in my board, or between my boards is the dead center of my table. I don't want to drive my screw just in case this bit wanders. So I've just stuck some boards underneath. I have a board under directly under the center as a sacrificial piece to drill into. And uh, yeah, that should be it. We're almost there, nice, quick, simple. Uh, picnic table for a barbecue this weekend, hopefully. All right, let's drill this thing out. Whole hog to the rescue. I reckon that's it. Right guys, there we go. That's one picnic table with parasol in the middle, ready for this weekend's barbecue. So some beer and some burgers are definitely on the cards. The weather is beautiful at the minute and I'm absolutely baked inside in this shop. So uh, yeah, it's a very simple process. Not really too many tools required. You could build this thing completely with hand tools if that's all you have. If you have a miter saw, it would make the job so much quicker and so much easier. I haven't got one at the minute, so I was kind of improv improvising with different tools there. But it, it worked out. Again, it's nice and cheap and simple to build. Again, using that jig, just measure the height of your table, how high you want it, less the top board, and that'll set your jig up for you, as you've seen in the video. It's the exact same process to build the benches. So you can use two of the six by twos, or two by sixes, whatever way you wanna call them, for your bench, and then uh, just set the height of the bench, whatever you want it. That'll make your jig for you, and that'll make your, set up your X legs, or your X brackets, whatever you wanna call them. I don't know what to call them now. I'm not even making much sense now because uh, I'm fairly cooked. Right, that's it guys. I'm going to get the hell out of here now and jump in the shower and maybe have a cold beer. I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.